The word of God in Exodus chapter 15 verse 7 says, You overthrew my God. He said you overthrew your adversaries by your great power. He says you opposed them by your great power. He says you unleashed your burning anger. It consumed them like stubble. He said in thy greatness, your majesty has overthrew them. He said those who rise against you, those who rise against you shall condemn. Those voices that is rising against you, dear child of God, you shall condemn in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I want you to know that everything trying to crush you, everything trying to destroy you, everything trying to see that nothing is working in your life, today you shall overthrow them. Those adversaries, you shall overthrow them all in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will happen by the excellency of God's power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, Your right hand, O Lord, was majestic in power. Be a child of God. The enemies will say, God is fighting against us. Yes, they said it, that let's flee from these people because God is fighting for them against us. God made sure that those adversaries were overthrown. God made sure that he unleashed his burning wrath and consumed every one of them. Today, dear child of God, you will see the majestic power of God. You will see God do valiantly for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And those that want you consumed, they shall be consumed. Those that want you destroyed, they shall be destroyed. Those that want you forgotten, they will be the ones that will be forgotten. Those that want you to bury your head in shame, they will be the one that will bury their head in shame. Dear child of God, today, turn to God and say, God, I want to see your mighty act. I want to see your mighty power. I want to see you change my situation for the best. Yes, I want to see you fix up everything around my life that ought to be fixed up. They have been chasing after you to destroy you. They have been doing everything to consume you. They have been doing everything to sniff life out of you. They have been doing everything to see that you drown. They have been doing everything to see that you are consumed. They have been doing everything to see that nothing good happens to you. But today, God will make sure they will be overthrown. God will make sure they will not be able to stand against you anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All of the people that Amen had put in place to destroy Mordecai could not succeed. Because God overthrew them. God overthrew Amen from the very beginning. God will overthrow them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are there to see that you are thrown into the fire. They will be the ones that will be consumed in the name of Jesus. You see they wanted to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. They eventually did, but they were not consumed. My God, God made sure they were preserved. And those people that threw them into the fire were the ones that were consumed. They were the ones that were overthrown. They were the ones that's, they were the ones that met the end that they intended for the people of God today those seeking your life to destroy if they don't repent they will be the ones going down for your sake because he clearly stated it in his word he said he will make sure that those adversaries shall be overthrown he would make sure those people that do not want you to succeed he said he would make sure that they would be destroyed he would make sure they will not be able to carry out any evil plans again. He said it very clearly. He says that their hands could not carry out their evil intentions. They could not carry out their evil enterprise. Their child of God. Their hands could not carry out their enterprise. What is it they are planning against you? What is it they are saying that would happen to you very soon? What is the thing that they are saying would happen against your family? It will not come to pass. 
Dear child of God, it will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Job 5 verse 12, he made it clear. He said he disappointed the devices of the craft. He says so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So that they will not be able to succeed in their intentions. In all of their evil intentions. He says so that they will not be able to say that they were gloating over you because their evil intentions because the attacks that they had intended against your family came to pass the child of god today god will be there for you to preserve you to protect you to help you to guide you and he would make sure that you would not be overthrown dear child of god even the things that is meant to consume you even the things that was meant to destroy you even the places you have found yourself that you were not supposed to get out from. God will make sure you get out so that you would have reasons to testify, so that you would have reasons to uphold others. And He will make sure those who wanted you destroyed, those who wanted you overthrown, those who wanted you to sorrow, dear child of God, those who want you to cry yourself to sleep every day, they will be the ones lamenting. They will be the ones regretting in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be frustrated. He says that he frustrates the devices of the crafty, their evil devices, their evil manipulations. Yes, the means at which they project evil towards you, dear child of God. Today, God will make sure that he will frustrate everything that they are trying to do and their hands will not be able to carry out their evil enterprise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing that you should be assured of today, dear child of God, is that God had promised you that he will not allow the evil plans of the enemies to come to pass. He had assured you that they will not be able to gloat over you. So why worry? Do not worry anymore. Do not allow yourself to be consumed because you are afraid. Do not allow dread to come upon you because you have the mighty warrior, because you have the mighty in battle, because you have the mighty God securing you and helping you. I want to assure you of this. Today, you will see God save you. You will see God rescue you. And you will see God consume those devourers those ones that wanted you destroyed those ones that wanted you to cry those ones that wanted you to sorrow they will be the ones if they refuse to repent this very day they will be the ones that will be crushed they will be the ones that will be consumed they will be the ones that would be written off in the mighty name of jesus many times they attempted god's people to see that they were destroyed but God made sure he returned back to them God will make sure nothing they are doing would ever succeed against your life dear child of God always have this at the back of your mind nothing they are doing would ever succeed nothing they are attempting would ever come to pass and so shall it be they will be frustrated everything they are planning to do will not stand it will not succeed as God did for David and preserved him and turned the wisdom of Ahithophel to foolishness. And God made sure those who wanted him consumed were the ones consumed. The enemies are saying to you that you will be destroyed by their hands. The enemies are saying that they will blow you off. The enemy are saying that they will sniff you off the earth. The enemies are saying that they would make sure you drown. Dear child of God, the enemies are saying that they would make sure you sink. The enemies are saying that you will come into penury. The enemies are saying that you will not have anything to sustain yourself anymore. The enemies are saying that they would strip you off everything that you possess and own. The enemies are after your possessions. They are saying to you that they will take everything that you have labored for. They are saying to you that they will take everything that you had worked for. But I want you to know today that they lied. I want you to know today that they speak in falsehood. 
and all the things that they are saying, none of them will come to pass. None of the things that they are saying they will do against you would ever succeed. Yes, you know that they are after your life. You know that they are after your businesses. You know that they are after your finances. They have sent threat to you. They have told you the things they want to do against you. But do not worry. Because none of their report is valid. Dear child of God, do not worry. Because God is with you. God is by your side. And nothing they will do would ever succeed against you. Every one of them that said they would see your end, dear child of God, with your eyes, you will behold it. You will see what God will do. Yes, you will see with your very eyes the things that God will do to bring them down. You see, Amen had said he would make sure Mordecai is destroyed. He had said it. He planned it out already. He had put everything in place. Just like your enemies had put everything in place. They had contacted those eight men and those eight women to see that you are brought down. Yes, they have put things in place to see that you are lied against. Dear child of God, they have put everything in place to see that you will become implicated. That put everything in place to see that your good name is destroyed. They had put everything in place to tarnish everything that you had done. But I want you to know that none of the things they're trying to do would ever succeed. A man did everything. He paid to see that Mordecai and the people of God were destroyed. But what happened? It backfired, dear child of God. It returned back to the head of the one who had planned that evil today have it at the back of your mind that every of those people that said they would destroy you yes everyone who has said they will take every of your possessions away those people who said they will take everything that you had worked for those people that said they will take everything that you had labored for with your eyes you will behold it you will see how god will turn the table around you will see how God will turn everything around. You will see how God will come through to save you. You will see how God will cause you to have your testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, be at peace. And say to yourself, the God that did it for Mordecai, I know he will do it for me. You see, everything, everything dear child of God, that a man had planned, to see that would happen to Mordecai and none of them ever came to pass because God ruled them out. Dear child of God, today God is ruling out everything that the enemies had said they would do. All of their threats. God today has overruled them and none of it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. You see in Exodus 15 verse 9, God was saying the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. My God, the enemy said these things. Yes, they said they would pursue, they would overtake them. They said they would take everything that they owned. The enemy said that their desires would be satisfied. Their evil intentions, this is the loss, their evil loss shall be satisfied upon them. Their evil desires shall be satisfied. But God said no. Mercy said no. Today, dear child of God, whatever it is that the enemies have said they would do, God is rising up today. And God will counter them all. God is saying no. It will not stand. God is saying no. It will not succeed. God is saying no. It will not come to pass. And so shall it be. It will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They had said over their dead body. Would you rise? Would you survive it? Dear child of God. They just brought a cause upon themselves. And if they refuse to repent. If they refuse to stop. 
if they continue in their wickedness and manipulations, if they continue with their evil intentions, dear child of God, it will return back to their head. Yes, everything that they had planned out, everything that they want to see happen to you, yes, every means at which they want to see that you are ruined and destroyed, it will return back to their head. And God will make sure you would have your victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, when God did it for his people and made sure none of the things that they had intended and made sure none of the things they had planned to do against God's people ever succeeded, you see, they will come back to say, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, amongst the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness? Exodus 15 verse 11. He said, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Today, you will see God do wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. And this will cause you to raise fearful praises to God in the name of Jesus. Dear child of God, God will do wonders in your life today. And He will make sure nothing the enemies are planning would ever succeed. He says further, thou stretchest out thy right hand, the earth swallowed them dear child of god those who have been masterminding evil against you those who are saying you will be destroyed those who are saying they will see your end today god will turn it around and none of the things they ever said would happen to you would ever succeed in the mighty name of jesus so next time they come with their threats Next time they come with their evil intentions. Next time they come with their threatenings against your life, against your family. Next time they say to you, this is what will happen to you. Return it back to them and say to them, you lied. Say to them that they lied and none of the things they are planning would ever succeed. Have confidence in your God. Dear child of God, have confidence that God is there to preserve you. Have confidence that God is there to protect you. Have that confidence that God is by your side. And I want to assure you, you will have your victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, if God is for you, who can be against you? Dear child of God, who can be against you and succeed? Who can ever threaten you? Dear child of God, who can ever threaten you and succeed? Who can ever send threats to you and carry it out? He said that their hands could not carry out their enterprise. They could not succeed in all the evils that they are intending. They could not succeed in all the things that they are planning. Dear child of God, they could not succeed because God is on your side. Because God is there to help you. Because God is there to fight for you because God is there to rescue you. Please hold on to this word because it will do something in your life that no one will be able to do. And then your song will be such as those who God delivered and saved. And then you will sing, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, amongst the gods? Who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee who is powerful? Who does wonders? Who is like unto thee? Who do strange things to see that your own people receives their salvation? Dear child of God, your salvation is with God. It is sure. And no enemies can do anything about it. Trust God today and say, God, I know that they lied. And say to God, I know that only your word is true. Only your reporter will believe. And nothing they are saying would ever succeed. Nothing they are saying would ever come to pass. And this day, you will see that God is there to help you, to sustain you, to uphold you, to fight for you, and to make sure you have the victories. Please hold on to God today. Have confidence in Him. And say to Him every day, I know that you are there to see me through to the very end. And I want to assure you, Nothing would ever happen to you. Please believe this word today and repeat it to yourself. Nothing would ever happen to me. Nothing the enemies are planning would ever succeed against my life. 
and so shall it be. Nothing would ever succeed. No weapons of the enemies. No weapons fashioned against you would ever prosper. In Jesus' mighty name. You are delivered. You are safe. And you would be elevated. In Jesus' mighty name. Trust God today who said he will fight for you and uphold you. Trust the God today who said he will keep you safe. Trust the God today who said he would make sure you are not destroyed. And I want to assure you, you will not be destroyed. Yes, Absalom was looking for ways to destroy him. King Saul was looking for ways to destroy him. Many of them were looking for ways to destroy him. But what happened? He was preserved. And everyone, Haithophel, the rest of them, that was looking for ways to bring him down were the ones that were brought down. They're a child of God. They wanted to bring you down. They will be the ones that will be going down for your sake. They wanted to see that you are shut up for life. The child of God, your voice will be heard. And their voice will never come to existence anymore. Except they repent. Except they stop this very moment. Except they turn back to God. Except they stop their wicked and evil malicious intentions. The child of God, except they stop today the wrath of God is coming upon them. The judgment of God is coming upon them. And the evils that they had intended to see happen to you will return back to them and you shall be saved. You will enjoy your life, the blessings of God. In the land of the living, you shall be greatly blessed because the Lord has said, you are the one that will be blessed. You are the one that will be preserved. You are the one that shall be protected. Their evil plans will not succeed. They will not be able to perform the things that they intend to do against your life. Please trust God. Hold on to Him. Have faith. And I want to assure you, you will continually testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.